Hey everyone, welcome back to another PlayStation 4 bot video. This time, I'm going to be showcasing a bot for Marvel Heroes Omega, created by using the new scripting API in PS4 Macro. The purpose of this project is to demonstrate how a bot can be made for an RPG game, and to also provide an example for scripting in PS4 Macro in general. First, I would like to give a shout out to Cornboy for helping me out with this project, so I have his Twitter link in the description. As you can see from the UI, the bot has some indicators for debugging and a few settings that you can play with. But by default, the bot will patrol around an area until it detects an enemy. Once it does, it locks onto the target and will dash to get closer to the enemy using the controls assigned here. After the dash, it will start attacking from the attack sequence, which can be set in this window. The bot will automatically heal itself when the health percentage drops below this value. We can also play a sequence of macros in the objectives section to make the bot do simple things such as collecting and selling loot, but we'll come back to this later. At the bottom, there's an indicator for the focused enemy, and the circle to the left is the direction that the bot decided to move to. The direction will be determined by scanning the minimap for the boundaries using edge detection, and it will choose the longest distance in clockwise. This allows the bot to patrol around a small area waiting for enemies to be respawned. So far, you have seen the bot attacking by using the fight wave objective, which will patrol and attack enemies, and the wait objective for delaying the execution. But as I mentioned earlier, we can customize the bot using the macros in the objective section. Objectives are predefined functions that you can rearrange any way you want. But most of the time you will be using the play macro objective, which allows you to play a recorded macro stored in the macros folder. There's also go to index objective for controlling the flow which you can set the index to jump to. These functions alone can be used to create a bot that can help you grind for a whole day. The following video was sent to me by Coinboy to show how the bot can be utilized to grind in his own way. His method started off by entering a treasure area and moving to the center of the map to lure all the enemies. Then the next objective is to fight this wave of enemies to reveal the loot cache. He then run off to the corner of the map to reposition the character before running back to the entrance to open the loot cache. Then he runs around while spamming the X button to collect the loots. After that, he leaves the area and teleport back to the headquarters. In there, he switched to another character and immediately switched it back to refresh the state. You can see that he is changing to Rocket Raccoon and then back to Iron Fist again. Finally, he teleport back to the same map and walk back in the treasure area. And this is where the loop ends and we restart from the beginning. And that's it for the demo. You can find the link to the source code in the description or read my blog post on this project which I describe in details of each decision I took and the problems I encountered along the way. Don't forget to drop a like if you liked it and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of the video.